So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Darren Mostyn. I'm a professional colorist and I run a post-production facility down here in Brighton in the UK. And I've been using Motion VFX for well over a year now. You can see that on most of my recent YouTube videos, they are literally full of Motion VFX. So I was actually really excited when the team at Motion VFX reached out to me and asked if I want to curate my top five choices. So these are the ones that I use on my YouTube videos, the ones that I use on my client work. And it was actually a pretty difficult choice, actually, because there are so many to choose from. This is in no particular order, but I'm going to show you why I like them and how I use them. So let's go and take a look. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve version 18. I've got the edit page open. I've got my effects library selected. And here you can see all the motion VFX that I've got installed. I've got literally tons of these things. And I've also got up here this hover scrub preview selected, and that allows me to take any one of these packs and literally just start previewing the templates. So it's a really quick and easy way to just select the ones that you might want to use. So the first pack that I've chosen is actually the first pack I ever used with Motion VFX, and that is M Title Hype. I love this one. Have a look at these. These are really stylishly done and obviously totally editable. That's why I've still been using them a year later because they never look the same. So what I can do, let's just grab one here. I'll just show you quickly. How it works. This is some images from an episode I made about motion VFX working on the iPad, which it does. So I've got my iPad here. This project is shared in the Blackmagic Cloud, so I can open it on my iPad and still edit my motion VFX templates. And not only does it work on the iPad, but I've also got it running on my MacBook Pro because I get two licenses with each pack. So let's have a look what we can do with this one. I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to my inspector. This is not a tutorial on how to use them as such. I just want to show you what they kind of look like. So let's have a look at this one. And the content controls move the main positioning and scaling. You can also do that here using the transform tool, which is a little bit easier because I can actually do it on screen then. Okay, and what I'm going to do is edit this text. So let's go down to the title controls. And I'm going to say, uh, I want to say edit anywhere. So I'm going to say edit. It using the outline text and what I want to do is put the word anywhere but in the red so I'm gonna get rid of you got what so that's gone let's go to here change that to the word anywhere and you can see how easily I can just literally reposition this and get it lined up so you get really nice stylish text let's just make that a little bit smaller and have a quick look at that and there we go, that looks super cool. Now I'm just gonna change the color because that red is a little bit garish. Let's get something like that and we are good. So there we go. Obviously these effects are talking to Fusion, so that's the back engine, which means these are super smooth. They always look really smooth and well animated. So the next pack in my bundle is M Title Cinematic 2. I use this one all the time. It's a good classic go-to, and you can see these are just really nice cinematic style titles. Really smooth, come on really nicely. And I've got one on my timeline already. These are almost the opposite of M Title Hype. They're just nice and clean. You're always gonna need titles like this. So I've got one here, and on this one it says Motion VFX Presents Cinematic Titles. I wanna split those two up so the timing is slightly different. So what I can do is press Option on my keyboard, and that will duplicate it. And I'm just gonna separate the timing on my edit here. So the first one is gonna say Motion VFX Presents. So all I've gotta do is highlight it, and then I can switch this part of it off. These are totally editable. And then I go to the second half, and I'm gonna get rid of where it says Motion VFX up there. So let's just switch that one off. And then I can come down here as well and change this to be orange or whatever color I want. And the color text here is controlled with the color mask width. So again, this is just showing you how much fine tuning you can do on all of these to custom and get them looking just how you want them. So if I adjust the width here, we can make as many characters as we want a certain color. So the third pack in my bundle is MKBHD. I use this an unhealthy amount. This is in nearly all my YouTube videos, and I use it a lot in our corporate productions as well because it's got a lot of things like I'll just show you, these things that really help you for tech explainers. So like this, for example, and these sort of things. So really nice, easy made graphics that I can customize really easily. So let, let me show you a few that I use. So this one here, MKBHD Feature 2. I use a lot, so I use this for things like when I want to say link is in the description. So let's just do that very quickly. Let's just change that. Uh, just scroll down here and go to the shape control, and I can switch that shape on and off. So this is obviously MKBHD sort of signature chevron thing. Uh, I'm going to change the color for sure. Let's make it. I tend to use this blue down here that I've got set as a default. So now when it flashes on, it'll flash blue. 
There we go. And what I want to do is just change the arrow direction. So it's pointing down and then I'm going to switch my transform tool on and I'm just going to place that down there somewhere where the link would be. And I just copy and place that. I keep that as a preset because I use it a lot. And there's plenty of other things in here as well. So you've got lower thirds, there are backgrounds, things like that. So let's just go to this shot of the bike here. Let's just put another little, yeah, let's grab this one. It's like a tech explainer thing. Drag and drop that on and in it comes. So we can change all the text, but you can see it's just got that really nice subtle glow. I love it. You can adjust the glow as well. So down here, there's the glow element of it, but I want to change the color here. So let's get rid of that red. And let's match that to be the green off the helmets. So okay to that, let's drag that over there. And then I could have this listing all the products on that bike, for example. So again, really slick, really easy to do. So M Keynote, this is the next pack in the bundle. This is an absolute no brainer. This has saved me so many hours in terms of making bar graphs and charts, timers, countdown timers, calendars, all that sort of stuff. It's all built into M Keynote. So this is an absolute no brainer. Um, you've got all these boards up here. You've got call to actions. You can customize all the colors, obviously, like you can with all the motion VFX. Uh, so these are never going to look the same twice. Here's one that I actually did recently. So I used this one here. Let me just drag that onto my timeline. All these elements are completely editable, obviously, and I made it look like from this, which is the default, into this, which is a really nice looking graph showing the time differences, rendering out different codecs. So really customizable. In fact, what I did on this one is I've integrated two packs together. So I've got M Keynote and I've got MKBHD. So you probably recognize these from the MKBHD pack, and then I'm using the bar graph from M Keynote. So integrating two packs, really good example of that here. And I actually got commented on this on my YouTube. Someone said these that the graphics look really nice. They were done really quickly just using M Keynote. And my last pack really had to be a YouTube one. It's MTuber 3. Don't worry, there are other icons in there as well. So if you're uh, an Instagram influencer, you've got all the Instagram logos, the Twitter logos, they're all in there as well. Let's have a quick look. So there's backgrounds in here. You've got all the sort of wacky backgrounds that people have on YouTube. Uh, all these call to action, so like and subscribe. I don't like saying it too much in my videos. So for me, having a little infographic that comes up is much nicer for me. So let's just have a look at one of these. I've got this one. Uh, call to action five. Let's drag and drop that on. I've used this one before. So it comes up with a little subscribe thing, a little thumbs up, and there's a drop zone in here. So what I can do is highlight this, go to my avatar controls. Let's just browse and I can choose a picture of me. That's my avatar in there. And you can change its positioning really easily and the size, all that sort of stuff. And then I can just move that down over here. And that's done. It really is as simple as that. So I, I really like that one. Down here, you've also got here the regular social media icons. So you've got all the ones that you want. So I sometimes put my Instagram handle up as well. Let's put that on there. And that one is actually 3D. So any, anytime you see them in 3D, you can change them to be 2D. I don't really like them being in 3D, to be honest. So let's have a quick look at that. Go to logo control. Yeah, and just switch it over there to 2D. And that's ready to go. So picking just five was actually quite a task, but I've done it based on the ones that I think have improved my YouTube channel, the ones that have improved the quality of the content that I provide to my clients, the ones that have saved me the most time. Um, some of the ones have even allowed me to do things that I would have previously had to outsource. So I just want to say a big thank you to the team at Motion VFX for letting me curate my own selection. This is not a sponsored video. I've done this because I genuinely use this product. You can see that on all my YouTube videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. Look after yourselves and I'll see you soon.